back in the 613. Capital punishment 8. Ottawa makes a fucking noise. Let's fucking go. I'm half deity and demigod. Tomahawk your Pentagon. Metatron rocking an inverted cross on the Pentagon. Demigorgon storming shorts to go to war against any odds. Venomous vocab flowing like I liquefied the lexicon. Megalodon model to set. Capital rap battles. Capital punishment eight. We back in the 613. Ottawa makes some fucking noise. <laughs> I am your host, Prehistoric. Thank you to everyone who came out from across the country and even from uh, other parts in the States. I got a co-host, the president of CRB. The CRB, yeah! Yeah! Let me talk to you. Hey, Frenchy 2024. Shout out to our sponsors, Bars of Death. Yeah! Yeezy's. Yeah! Just won $300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Ma. Yeah. Rob Blow. Fresh yeah. 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 And of course, the RB Live! Yeah. Yeah. Come get roasted! That's right. Tune in, tune in. Shout out to One Up Cocktail Pub. We get it into this. A battler to my left. Making his return. Introduce yourself. What's good? Someone tell Chronic, the real captain of Team Scotia, is right here. Oh, it, oh, it's caught, Team Scotia. Low life. Fuck your mother. Let's go. Rest in peace, Pat Stay. Shout out to Scotia. Battling to my right. Making his return. Introduce yourself. It's Uncle Gravity. I love your mother. I might fix some shit around my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. I'm gonna need everyone to hold it down. It's on gravity. Let's have a rap battle. All right. Let's have a Seriously, rap. silence, please. Don't start rapping until they're silent, bro. Yo, I have accomplished a lot of sneaky and brilliant shit in battle rap, but by far my most artful of strokes was like 25 minutes ago when I let out a nasty fart just as Troublemaker started to choke. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> ladies and gents. Uncle Gravity's back. New and improved since my disc choke. I now come with added vitamin D, and by that I mean like 30% more dick jokes. <laughs> yeah. I had to watch your battles for this, though I'd have rather cleaned the drains in my bathroom. I mean, you versus wise guy seems like a shady deal you and Frenchie made in a back room. And wise took all my easy angles for you, so I had to work so much more to diss you. And still, my spite never quite overwhelmed my bone-deep boredom with you. I mean, I look for something in your work to inspire me, but nothing really could. It's like you're pretty good at being average, and I just suck at being good. I mean, Jay's great! Figuring out which concepts best to do puns with. Too bad he sound corny as fuck anywhere west of New Brunswick. <laughs> Bro, you got that Scotian accent and cadence, and frankly, it's awful. Why your battles all gotta sound like a weather report from Frankie McDonald? <laughs> you fucking keener! You fucking keener. Flying out to every event, he's always amped. Now he's ambitious, wants expenses comped, shots at champs. Well, I won't even fucking dap him up since I did 11 years back and his palm was damp. Man, comp's dumbass, the reason they gotta write do not ingest warnings onto lava lamps. <laughs> and now, I don't want to offend you people and get in trouble, bro. So pray tell, do you prefer to be referred to as losers or juggalos? Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Comp is a juggalo. And it figures he was obsessed with that crap. I mean, insane clown posse is sort of the semi-pro wrestling of rap. <laughs> and he's got a juggalette back home. Stays with her for the kid. It's sure not her being hot. Besides, Jay just faps to pro wrestling and tells her he watches for the plot. <laughs> now, let me, let me reframe this angle in terms you might better understand. I think my point is that you and Ezays are some C-tier gay juggalos who remind me a lot of Dink and Doink. <laughs> and now listen, I'm sorry if this one's a little half-assed. Guilty. Maybe I'm calling it in. But the only thing remotely interesting about comp is his chin. <laughs> Seriously. This chin never rests. It constantly juts. I would say keep your chin up, but I don't want to get cut. <laughs> and when he lies, 
It juts out longer and farther. I heard if I cut it off, it only grows back stronger and harder. <laughs> The doc told his mom one of her kids had been doomed, that Comp had had a paternal twin in the womb that his enormous chin had consumed. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I know the so-called fucking experts will just say what they say to explain this away, but I'm pretty sure the spirit of your dead twin sister lives in your chin and is making you gay. <laughs> <laughs> occasional ICP song. That ain't a mistake. You probably think I wish those were days to erase, but your wife wasn't complaining when I came and painted her face. So how the fuck did I end up on this path now? Right at the bottom tier where you can see Grab Lounge. Just when, I, just when I thought I was getting ahead, I get booked with this stupid little ass clown. Go figure. As soon as I make a leap, there's gravity pulling me back down. Oh. Now with your history, it's no surprise that you haven't taken flight. Every failed opportunity was followed by a fail to make it right. Can you name a single achievement that's helped take you to the greatest height? The answer is no, gravity, because every step you take is white. Right. You want better matches, but for CRB, that's not something that we endorse. You need to read reports because it's a known fact that gravity is the weakest force. You're Ooh. fucking trash. There's been countless times you fumbled the ball and ran. Because taking battles and fucking them up for ten years is an odd plan, fam. I mean, I already beat Teddy so your whole squad can't scram because I'm always five stars from the jump like Rob Van Dam. <laughs> Have you seen what I've been doing? There's no way that you could win. I beat your former champ and sent wise guy back to the loony bin. You've had a couple funny jokes, but you've done the very minimal to get cheers. I've said more in one battle than what you have in ten years. So what do you do for this league? You're not tipping no scales. I ride waves that I've created while you've just been riding coattails. So tell me, what have you accomplished? Look at the list of your work. I can't even count the amount of times you've had an opponent you didn't deserve. So hop off that spot at the top where you think you're sitting on a throne because this leech doesn't even share a fucking battle that's not his own. And you called Uncle Buzz a culture vulture. Now this is getting pretty sad, so just be thankful you got that mask because it's the only buzz you ever had. Oh, he's, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's a conspiracy theorist, so he never has a path that's clear. He believes everything he reads and thinks lizard people are standing near. I don't know what kind of fumes you're huffing, but that is weird because the only conspiracy going on is that you still fucking battle here. So let's be real. You knew you would get beat from the start. Frenchie only booked you versus me just to have me on the card. You've, oh, you've overstayed your welcome. You failed your mission, now abort it soon. The league's better off without you, because without you we'll be more in tune. You're not helping the growth. You shouldn't be occupying any sort of room, because with no gravity weighing us down, we'll all be heading towards the moon. What the fuck? Make some noise, man. We got a battle. We got a battle. CPA, this is what it's all about. No, seriously, make some noise for both of you. down. Something very important to say. <clears throat> Penis skirt. <laughs> Intellect. Good looks. I'm better than comp in at least three ways. Best you can hope for from this trip is collecting some air miles and maybe a blowjob from Ease's. <laughs> and on a more personal note, hey, Sometimes gravity's stuck. My only choices end up cancel or stuck, and I really can't give a fuck whatever happens here. Not comp. His passion is such that he's had his family on rations for months just to passively fund stepdad's rap career. <laughs> and I never choke. <laughs> I never choke. I strategically lower expectations. So <laughs> oh, yeah! 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 Said I strategically lower expectations. For better or worse, I so doubt. And as for Rome J, still burning. 
Both our provinces never been worse. We're smoked out. And when the smoke clears, and when the smoke clears, well, it's your scene that's really bereft since all the good elements of the old league up and left. Now it's not only the victim of tragedy, murder, and death, but also of your own apathy, inertia, neglect. And now it's a sad fucking irony the guy repping Scotia is a sucker, a mark who's ugly and whose wife's chubby, so they only ever fuck in the dark. <laughs> Shouts to her, though. I said, fuck this nerd comp and his deluded fandom. I will curb stomp all your enthusiasm. And you best come get your boyfriend if he starts throwing more of his stupid tantrums and dissing you to anyone who will listen to him, accosting dudes at random. Yeah, your bromance, we all have it on good authority that it's a disgrace. Since last time he was here, Ize's spit a whole ass list of complaints barely an inch from my face. <laughs> and unfortunately, I responded by writing a bunch of gay bars. No, I'm not proud I wrote solo, but you two go skydiving in tandem even though you're allowed to go solo. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Broke back battle rap bros rolling dolo. Claiming it don't count on the road like it's promo. 2023, 2023 can't really say it's a no-no, but they stay saying no homo just in case, but it's too late though. So what does wifey at home know? Uh-oh. Scotia Boys hotel room is just a big gay blanket fort. Now, <laughs> blanket forts are fire. I just hope my league ain't paying for it. <laughs> yeah. Love is love. Whatever. But leading a double life is what I can't support. I mean, you gave her one of his diseases and told wifey it's a planter's wart. <laughs> and that old juggalette battle axe chopped a lot of wood in Halifax. I'm aware she's a hoe. That fat bitch has six crab legs, so she skitters and crab walks everywhere that she goes. If you ever get a kid on her, I hope, for real, it's born with no fingers, just weird lobster claws. <laughs> and if this last bar seems a little forced, it's because the contract came from Mac with a lobster claw. Round two! It's on comp. Let's go. Hold it down. It's fucking hot in here. It's just me. <laughs> you said I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but bro, you are no goat. That's an awful lot of dick jokes. You would have fit right in with Smoked Out. Yeah. <laughs> when I was offered you, I'll admit I was taken back. But let me state the fact. I came here to make a splash and ended up facing trash when I wound up with someone fucking worse than Raiden Black. I mean, you're not even mid-tier. You belong in the bottom where they produce no stars. You would have fit right in there with the Faradays and the Omars. Uh, I mean, I could list off the names of people that killed you, but it would all just be a straight haze. Because unfortunately, we'd all be fucking standing here for eight days. <laughs> However, let's acknowledge the fact that you're getting killed in a major way because I've never lose to someone that had a fucking debatable with ALA. <laughs> Everyone hold it down, That's please. Crack to the back. Let's go. So. Yeah, I want a better match next time because it's a fact this dude sucks. I've seen people go through the body more times than the magic school bus. Whoa. So if he says he gets it popping, yeah, he's toasting his kids some strudels. You look like you eat nothing but lentils and Mr. Noodles. <laughs> Seriously, you need to go to Frenchies and have a fucking chicken wing because you look like you weigh like three pounds. You're a grown man, Charlie. Get off the breast milk and bean sprouts. <laughs> I mean, come on, Charlie, you old plumber. <laughs> Look, you think you're beating me, but you're losing in a bad way. Because that thought holds as much weight as when Chronic said he's the next Pat Stay. Ooh, Fuck out of here with that shit, you clown. That? Yeah, he did. He's a clown. <laughs> you're losing your spot. You had your chance to care. You're getting chopped down in the ring like you had a match with Flair. You've shit to bed so many times, you don't even deserve to be standing there. That's why after this, you're getting pushed to the side like Samson's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Because you say some stupid shit. You really need to shut your trap. Forget a fist bump. I'd rather give you a fucking slap because you have a face that I just can't resist popping like bubble wrap. Aww. I can take it to a place that you won't see this man dare enter when I put the point to your head like the last airbender. Mm. The blade is Little Caesars. Hot and ready. There's no escape when I'm attacking. When the blade goes in, 
It sounds like he's age when he's rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Did you know, did y'all know that Rome is burning? It's real, it's a thing. Tell him. Some people don't understand the kind of fear it could bring. You're doing everything you can. They believe in their king. We know gravity has it under control when he starts leaving the ring. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Leave forever and just say bye. It's like you took acid for the first time ever and fucking stayed high. <laughs> Bro, you're a fucking idiot. I'm sure there's people that would say he's a great guy, but for bugging, you can be dead by the morning like a mayfly. Because you being in this league just leaves an awful taste. I'd be Teddy in a fucking video battle that made him sob for days. Corms was the only one in your crew that I even considered a threat. So what's up, Lobster Boy? I'll rip that fucking title off your chest. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Make some noise for calm, man. Gravity, let's go. I said that was kind of a soft round, but you said some shit I've rarely considered. For example, I didn't realize Samson has the same haircut as Hitler. <laughs> for real, for real. Jay. 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 My. Hold it down, guys. My real opponent here is my own basic disinterest. I tried watching you high, it didn't make any difference. <laughs> You're not complicated to me. You are vague, the latest, just business. Another faceless name on a hit list. A juggalo, violent J, kinda gay and a midwit. Cheats on his bay with these A's for a mistress. What I'm trying to say is absolutely no way was this dipshit ever fucking with your old Uncle Gravy and Biscuits. <laughs> Not in my town. Here, you serve and get served at your Uncle Gravity's pleasure, man. Frenchie was foolish pitting a tourist against the national capital treasure. But we go back to Capital Invasion 2. I remember debuting together. And even then, it was painfully obvious which one of us is cooler and better. <laughs> back then, you spelled your name complicated with a K and an 8. Fucking adorable. Too average to love. You're too average to love, but too basic to hate. You're consistently okay and no one cares. It's just like, oh, comp is on a roll. Now his confidence is swole. It's got him feeling motivational, so he's talking to our souls. Shut up. You have no business talking to other rappers as if you're exceptional. Your writing is so flat by comparison, I am four dimensional. Wow. <laughs> said your writing is so flat by comparison, I am four dimensional. Stop talking like a fucking life coach when you know deep down that you're expendable and the last dude you gave a pep talk to had the cops break in his door for fentanyl. What? <laughs> I said, no one needs your sort of leadership. Except maybe easy. Bro, you are nobody's Jordan Peterson. That may be easy. <laughs> but me, if I say believe in yourself, well, you fucking should, because you're a super guy. Not even the sky's the limit. Hit my Patreon, bros. I'll teach you to fly. But if comp says to, it's a fucking stupid lie. Yourself is a fucking loser, dot. Request government-assisted suicide. Explain your situation. I'm sure you'll be approved. It's fine. <laughs> you're too sincere. So go on, wrap your little heart up, tell your uncle Grab what you want to say. I won't catch fire, though I may stare and smoke intensely like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> You're not the op I'd have chosen, so now gravity's bored, but my hand has been forced. I hope you have fun trying to talk to my soul while I'm over here quietly laughing at yours. Let's go. Yo, that was a crazy round. Make some noise. Anyone who's talking right now, just go outside and talk. These guys prepare for months. You can have your chat outside. Please hold it down. That means you, Kevilo. What's up, Prez? Fight you. Let's stop talking and let the battlers battle it. Yes, that's hilarious. <laughs> but at the same time, it's not your time, it's their time. Here we go. Man, I just gotta say, that was a very boring round. <laughs> you, says his aid, you said his aides needs my leadership. Well, guess what? He's sober now. Hey! Mm -hmm. ah, ah, yeah. hey. Listen, after this round, you're gonna wanna quit for sure. Because if you knew this was coming, that just proves you're guilty and insecure. So NBS versus Made Wade. 
What a dark day. Some real ones expressed their feelings about the harsh play. Gravity here was fired up, but it's laughable to think he'd take him outside and try and smash his chin. Instead, he clenched his fist and said, Ooh, I want to battle him. <laughs> now to y'all, he acted like it hurt lots, but this nerd sucked because your homie was degraded in a rap battle with your first thought. Now I know it's battle rap, so it would be crazy to think it's all going to switch. But you could have at least met him outside and fucking called him a bitch. If that was my homie, I wouldn't stand there thinking of bars to write. Food for thought. If that was my homie, we would have been having words whether he had goons or not. But listen, I understand. The pain is never ceasing when you're grieving. You're stuck keeping the feeling that Corm should be standing here now with his charisma reaching the ceiling. Me? I'm agreeing. But Corm's name has been receiving a beating and you defend your friend to the end, but in the end, seeing is believing. So what was it? You and Teddy versus Wade and Poe? Fuck off, stop playing, bro. You struggle with one person in a battle, so just take it slow. Because the fact you actually thought that would happen is mad weird. But what's worse is you actually expected the staff to book Wade to come back here. Figures. It's not like gravity here to display intelligence. This guy is a main attraction? Yeah. Imagine going that way and selling it. He's really acting like having him in a battle will change the precedence while well, you're in the capital trying to capitalize on Corms' name to gain some relevance. When he was here, you couldn't accomplish things, and you damn sure can't without him. So now that you've walked into oblivion, you should go beyond to share his fucking album. I don't respect you. I don't respect you. So from now on, for you, it's nothing but straight shade. So while I move on to bigger things, he's still wondering what rhymes with Mitty Wade. You're, you're out of your fucking mind. I know for a fact, because that shit's gone. The type of guy that in his wild mind we're all some sort of big pawn, but if he starts wigging on Cam, then I'ma show he's a bitch like King Khan. So don't try and act like... Come on. So don't try and act like everything I said isn't the truth, because it's hard to deny the facts when you fucking witness the proof. So you must be sniffing some glue if you don't think you're the biggest squid in this room, because I came here to rip you in two for all the shady shit that you do, because you're a snake that's slithering through when it's beneficial for you. So rest in peace to Corms. But even he would have said you got killed clear. And even though he's gone, the one that's really cancerous is still here. So make some noise for both these guys right now. That was a fucking great battle. See me in. Half deity, a demigod. Tomahawk, your pentagon. Metatron, rocking an inverted cross on the Pentagon. Demigorg and storming swords to go to war against any odds. Venomous vocab, blowing like I liquefied the lexicon.